All right, gonna give you my quick thoughts. Well, I always say quick thoughts. Sometimes I say quick thoughts. The video ends up being seven minutes, uh, 10 minutes. I, I don't mean for that to happen. I just do what I do, just ramble until I feel like I've said enough. But after a couple of glimpses among some HBO sizzle reels, we have ourselves our first actual trailer of The Last of Us series on HBO, which, Last of Us series, that's good. After decades of failed attempt at adapting video games into movies, some of them are better than others, I get that. I don't give a shit in retrospect, Street Fighter the movie. Some people call it the Van Damme Street Fighter. I used to, at this point I call it the Raul Julia Street Fighter, because that's Raul Julia elevating that content. But it's like everyone learned, okay, movies, that, that's not enough time to adapt. 15 to 40 hours of gameplay, let's do a series. And even then, sometimes the series is like, that's not the thing. What I liked about this trailer is, I mean, the tone is there. The tone absolutely is recognizable as The Last of Us. I guess, I, know, I should call it the atmosphere more than the tone. Point is, I'm watching the trailer and I'm like, I, I feel like I know what I'm looking at. I feel like I did play that part. Which is important. You want your target audience to feel that. Your target audience is people who played the game. You don't want your audience to be like, I... I don't recognize this at all. This is The Last of Us? Keeping in mind, movie trailers are commercials for a product. So obviously they're gonna make the product look as good as humanly possible. Kinda like in the commercials, the Big Mac always looks juicy and amazing. Then you get the Big Mac, you're like, what the fuck is that? Sometimes that's the same contrast between movie trailers and the movies. But this Last of Us trailer looks familiar to the game and that's the point. You look at the creature models, you're like, that's from the game. It would have been so easy to make the world feel like this generic, post-apocalyptic dystopian zombie world. I know it's not zombies, they're infected with a parasite, it is different. But still, that's, that's my point. That music in that trailer, that does help. The song is Alone and Forsaken by Hank Williams, which is the song that played in one of the trailers to the original Last of Us. It very much reminds me of when Hurt by Johnny Cash played in the trailer to Logan. I call it lonely broody guy in a fallen world sitting in the corner of a dark room slamming a fifth of Tennessee whiskey music. And if I can think of Joel, well that is the guy. And seeing the trailer, I think the cast looks good too. I mean, with The Last of Us, I always had my fan casting as well, and I wouldn't have picked Pedro Pascal as one of those, oh yeah, Josh Brolin, obviously, when they ever make a movie or a series. But we know the dude has talent, so I gotta have faith that this is an opportunity for him to do something truly special. In the end, the biggest selling point is that right there. Because Chernobyl is one of the greatest limited series ever created, I think. It is, how did the architect say? It was quite naturally perfect. It was a work of art. Right, exactly. Then you have the original Last of Us. It was quite naturally perfect. It was a work of art. Sounds like a match made in heaven in a world of hell. If you look at it, it is the same kind of horror. Chernobyl was very horror based on atmosphere and tone. The Last of Us, horror based on atmosphere and tone. I mean, yeah, you have <laughs> clickers and horrid people coming after you, but even when they weren't coming after you, the horror was still there. And so I feel like there is a connective tissue. There's a connective link of DNA between Chernobyl and The Last of Us, creatively speaking. And if for nothing else, I feel like this can be this could be the moment where everybody understands everybody. Because if Pedro Pascal is crushing it as Joel, the internet, everybody, Twitter, they're all gonna be like, he's amazing, he's incredible. Then the first episode of season two happens, they're gonna be like, what the fuck? Why, why did that happen? Exactly! All right, so this teaser trailer for the HBO series, The Last of Us, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.